stupid game by the Chicago Bulls. Put it on their big boy pants. You know, DeMar DeRozan dropping 41 points, grabbing the seven boards, dishing out four assists, while also playing good defense. Nikola Vucevic having a double-double dropping, you know, 20-plus points, having, you know, 10-plus rebounds, just doing his thing. And then you also had Alex Caruso facilitating the offense next to Zach Levine, who himself scored 20 points. A little help off the bench. You know, nothing too serious. The best guy off the bench was arguably either Javante Green or Ayo DeSumo. You know, Derek Jones Jr., Tristan Thompson, and Kobe White didn't do too much off the bench. It was really the starting lineup. I mean, this is a team that shot basically 50% from the field, 50% from three. They were on fire, and they forced, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks to have 14 turnovers, and they out-rebounded them, okay? And it was a close-fought game. It could have gone either way. I'm not saying that. This, like, Chris Middleton, you know, being injured definitely helped them, okay? And I think, look, I think it was definitely it was definitely a good, good game. And, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the Bulls showed that this could be hard for the Bucks to win because the Bucks had the chances to make the stops that they needed. They forced two misses, but they couldn't even secure the rebound on either of them. DeRozan eventually finished over top of Ante de Kumpo, and you know, at the end of the game, to make it like 114 to 109. And it was just the Bulls showed that they could go toe to toe against this, you know, Bucks team, and that they're not overmatched. I think that's been a big thing is everyone's like, this is a team that's so overmatched, and this and that. And I, I truly believe that they're not, and I think they can match up. Yes, the one side that I do admit that they are overmatched is the depth, okay? We can agree that the Bucks are deeper than the Bulls, but watching this game, we got to see, you know, the Bulls take advantage of their good shooting night. And this is a night that shows DeMar DeRozan needs to have big performances, but Nikola Vucevic needs to grab those boards to give his teammates the second chance opportunities that are needed, okay? When you get rebounds to demoralize the team and getting rebounds not only demoralizes the team but second chance opportunities and when it's on defense kickstarts transitions and fast breaks which leads to wins okay so you know demar derozan you know showed and the bulls showed that they they can beat the bucks i don't know if they're going to but they can make this a close series show Prove, I don't know, what should we call this video? The Lara DeRozan and the, and the Bulls prove that they could upset the Bulls, you know? When in game two against game two, I don't even know what to call this. This is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Follow me on social media. I do think something going into the next game i mean patrick williams had a good game but kobe white and Javante green we need more of an effort okay you guys can't just come in and force your teammates to play the entirety of the game okay and i think that's the thing and show they can upset the bucks okay and that's something i think is interesting because this is probably going to be an interesting series. I think it can go six or seven games. But that's basically my thoughts for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me hear your thoughts down below. Like and subscribe. Do all that good jazz. That's basically it. Peace. Ooh.